Okay, hello and welcome to part one of this series. Um, in this video what we're going to be doing is basically coding the server list part and then in part two, hopefully, we're going to get on to coding the actual bit that the whole point of this video is about, which is getting the information from the server. Um, so as you can see, what we've done is removed pretty much all of the code from this, except a little bit of the HTML, which I'll go through in a moment, and all we've got is a completely blank page that does absolutely nothing. So what we'll do first is just have a quick look at our folder. Um, so this is our sort of root, if you like. We've got these two pages. This is obviously the server list, and this is obviously the page that you go to when you click on a server. As well as these pages, we've got this core folder, which contains sort of all of these sort of back-end sort of logic-y type bits that aren't to do with display, as in HTML. Um, so this is going to contain a config file, which is going to contain our list of servers. It's going to contain this file, which is something that is included by all the pages, and this just sort of does any kind of setup initialization type stuff. Um, so, for example, you might want to connect to the database in this file. You may want to start a session in this file if that's something you can be using on all of the pages. Um, but we're just going to be using it to include some other files, um, just as a sort of shorthand, easy way to sort of lay things out. Um, and then we have this ink folder, and this contains any sort of library files that we'll be using. If I open this up, you can see we have this mc.ink.php. And all this function is going to do, sorry, spoiler, all this file is going to do is define a function that we can use from our pages to get the information on the server. So you don't have to duplicate loads of code over and over again, and also so that it's just a bit shorter, we keep all of the complicated technical stuff hidden away in the back of the site. I don't know. That's the idea anyway. Keep it all separate. Right, so let's go back to our let's go back to our root of our site, it doesn't really matter that you saw that folder so let's um, open these files up in our text editor which I've got here and I'll just go through what we've got already because there is a little bit of code already that we're starting with so we'll start with the init file as you can see what we're doing is defining a new variable called path which just contains the full path on the server to the current folder and that is the core folder um, and that's something I've used before so I'm not going to go over it in too much detail um, so, I don't know, watch my previous videos for an explanation of that if you like. Um, important thing to note is that this thing here, the file constant, it's known as, has two underscores on either side of it, and the file has to be in capitals. Um, and that is, that constant will always contain the full path to um, the actual file that you're looking at at the moment. Um, yeah, so that's that. And dir name just takes it the directory name part of that. Anyway. What we do after that is use this path that we just defined to include two files. So we include the config file, which is this file here, and we include this backend file, the mc.ink.php, which is this file here. So let's just take a quick look at the config file. As you can see, what we're doing is defining an array here. So we create a, a variable called config with the array key of servers, and then we add four elements this just means add an element to this little bit here. So we're adding four elements to this server's array. And each of those elements is itself an array, which contains um, in position zero the IP address of the server, or the address of the server, I should say, it's not an IP address. Um, and in position one, it contains the port number. So this might look a little bit complicated. So what I'll do is just go to our server list and just under where we include the init file which is effectively just including these two backend files at the moment anyway. Um, what I'll do is just do print underscore r config. And then if I go to the browser and hit reload, you can see we get this output here. If I just view the page source of this and bring the window down, you can see that this is the format of the array that we're creating as our config array. So we have this servers thingy, servers key in the big array, the config array, and each one of the elements inside that contains the IP address and the port. So then that's just something we can use as a kind of database to look up servers and also just to show them as a list rather than having to define everything manually and just type out all the links and that sort of thing. So what we'll do now is go back to our code and we'll actually code the well code <laughs> um, to ooh, ignore that to show the um, list of servers basically. So what we're going to do is come down here, well first we're going to remove the print underscore r because we don't need that. So we're going to come down here and we are going to create a for each loop to loop over each server. So we'll just use a for each 
and the array that we want to loop over is the config array and the server's key in that array and then we want to do for each server as for each servers as server so for every server what we want to do is output a link so I'm going to use a simple echo here and we're going to output an a href the name of the server will go between this tag like so so the name of the server will go here and a link will go in this bit here so we'll do the name of the server first because that's pretty simple so I'll just come out like so and we'll just use server 0 so we won't use a p, we'll use a bracket and that should just print the name of the server so if you like we can give this a quick test and you can see we have the name of the server servers even however they're all on one line which does not look very nice at all so what I'm going to do is come back to our text editor and stick each one in a p tag not quite the best way to do it but um, I'm not trying to teach you HTML okay okay so there you go what we've got is a nice well nicer looking list it's more formatted I guess you could say so what we'll do now is go back to our code and make these link to the actual list at the moment they just link to the current page so here we need to fill in the sort of link part of it so what we need to link to is a oh sorry we need to link to our view server page which is that and we want to pass through a get variable which is going to be our server ID or SID for short and the server ID is going to be equal to some number which is going to be able to represent our server so if we remember the sort of print underscore r output then the servers were numbered like by the array elements not one two three so we can get that number by using um, the well by accessing the key here as well as the value so instead of just by doing for each array as value sorry array as value what we can do is say for each array as key but I'm going to call it ID because that's what it is and value so this will be able, this will enable us to get the key and the value pair from the array so then if I can just use ID here and that will output the links correctly so if we just go back to the browser again and hit reload again if I just hover over these links you can see at the bottom of my browser window it says view spelt wrong, we'll correct that in a moment server.php question mark SID equals 0 if I go to this one SID equals 1, 2, 3 so that's basically worked so if we just go back to the text editor once more and I'll just correct that typo there we go so now this is pretty much it and we're done with this page so let's just go back to the browser again hit refresh to correct the typo and we'll just click on this server as you can see there's nothing on this page at the moment and that's because we haven't created this file yet basically so what we're going to do in the uh, next part is create this file which is surprisingly simple so thank you for watching and come back for part two where we'll do that thing I just said we'll do